Hello, in this tutorial on C++ I want you to introduce uh, C-like strings, so a character literal. We have already written out um, character literal, so string text, te text like hello world uh, text, but we didn't store it in the memory. So, let's get started. A word or a sentence can be imagined as uh, the array of characters. So, and actually that's it. So, declare a character, an array character. We put it 255 element in it because that could contain an entire sec uh, sentence. Okay, and call it str like string. So it's easy to remember that. Now, uh, write out something to the user. Uh, write something here okay and read it to the str it is enough to just give the uh, address of the first element so in this case it will be the str as I told as I said in the array tutorial this is the element this is the address of the first uh, element of the array okay and write out what the user entered. So, you've entered uh, and write out simple just the str. In this case, it is enough to just the first element, uh, fir to that just the er address of the first element. Okay, save the program and get a terminal and just uh, compile our program first.cpp ok and run it enter something like hello ok this was simple but what happened if they want to write something with space in it so hello world as you can see it just read the first uh, just uh, everything without uh, to the space before the space so in this case hello why is that because the sin cin uh, separates the element with the white space character so uh, it will read something until it don't find the white space character like space tabulator or new line and the next uh, element will be read uh, then so if we write something like str2 and we would have an str2 variable which is a char array then it will read the world into the str2 because it's separated with a space although we can read an entire line with get line member function although I don't speak member function because it will come when we uh, mention arrays uh, uh, classes and structs but uh, but I will show you so sin uh, dot it is uh, to get something to get a member function or a, or a, or a member function so get line str and the uh, maximum uh, number which should it read okay but it stops when it finds a new line character okay in this case it is enough to, to uh, give the first to the address of the first element and the maximum number uh, of characters which should be read if there is no new line found so and uh, actually that's it now if we save and compile our program like that run it we could hello world and it will read the whole mm, text the space too okay now uh, where does the program knows where to stand uh, where to stop to write out something 
although there are 255 elements in it, this hello world text is no more than 11 characters. So how do the program knows where to stop to f uh, write out? As I mentioned earlier, there is a new uh, new uh, zero byte character, null byte characters is um, the end of the string literal. So the uh, null byte character has a special escape characters backslash zero. This is the null byte character. This is put to the end of the uh, string literal. So if we would want to write out uh, the string character by character, we could do that by a while loop and always check that the character is the null by character. If it is, just jump out from the loop as we write out the character. So for that, we make a uh, loop variable int i equals zero. It will be a loop variable, it starts from zero and now the while loop comes in. While stri then open a code block and close it before we forget it and just write the stri and uh, increase the i like that. So, it will first get the first element and the, if it is null byte, although it is an expression, uh, as I said in the if uh, statement, uh, everything is true which is not zero. In this case the zero byte character is actually zero because it's zero byte, right? and everything else is true so the while loop will run while it don't find the <coughs> zero byte null byte character if it does it just jump out the uh, loop and inside the loop we write out the actu actual character and after we increase the i so we can then compare the so we can see that the next character uh, is a null byte character. If so, we jump out as we write something. OK, save it and get a terminal, compile the program and run. Hello world again. And as you can see, it writes out, although I forgot to put a new line character, so it uh, the terminal default uh, uh, message right here after the write uh, after the text we've written out okay i want to show you something else just get rid of them and make the original str so uh, if we want to examine the length of this string we could do that by simple uh, write a while loop and get a variable and increase it by every time but but there is a function for that which is written for us so we don't have to write it always for that we have to include a new header file include this is the c string header file uh, if you were programmer this is the same as string.h although string.h is perfect but to make our code better and more C++ we use C string usually a C header file can be uh, can be uh, included with the same name although the age extension so the dot age is disappear and there is a C before the header file name and the, uh, it is the case in this mm, header file so C string. Uh, the, the difference is that uh, the C string is inside the namespace std while the string.age uh, don't use it uh, 
<coughs> namespaces because the, there is no namespaces in C. Okay, and we could write out the length of it. The length, length str len and uh, the address of the first uh, element in the array, so str. It is a very simple mm, implementation of the length, just a while loop, and every time it uh, it will increase a variable, and the end of it it will give back that variable. It is uh, <coughs> not count the null byte character, so it without it just the actual length. Okay, and we could compile it and run the program. Hello. Okay, it uh, gives the length of the hello string. Okay. We write something a little longer, uh, just some random. Okay, and it will give the length 40. There are other very useful uh, functions in the feasting header, like strcmp, which uh, compare two strings. Uh, Actually, this is string compare, and this is what we write here. This is string length, of course. Okay, and strcpy, uh, which is the string copy, and of course, what we wait, it's copy one string to another. This is very stream, uh, simple string uh, functions although they can be very useful. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day!